Hey everyone, it's Mana, and today I'm doing this kind of dark, um, more wearable kind of Taylor Momsen look. I figure it's fitting since it's fall and darker makeup's in. Um, so the products I'll be using for that are this e.l.f. eyeshadow, which is black sparkly, my NYX's 78 palette, Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Eggplant, NYX's eyeshadow base, e.l.f.'s Lip Shine Super Glossy Lip Gloss in Pink Kiss, um, Revlon Grow Luscious by Fabulash Mascara, and these brushes which I talk about in the video. So let's get into the tutorial. So starting the tutorial, the first thing you need to do is prime your eye, and I am using NYX's eyeshadow base in Skin Tone. Um, I just really like this primer. So using your middle finger, you're going to want to cover the whole eye area. The eyelid all the way up into the brow bone, um, the inner corner, and underneath the eye. I like the skin tone one because when you put it underneath your eye, it kind of works as a concealer as well. Hides the dark circles just a little bit, not too much. I'm not having the greatest skin day today anyway, so. And then the first shadow we will be using is from the NYX 78 palette. And it's this um, grayish, bluish, um, I don't know, eyeshadow, sorry. Oh, no, first, first thing we need to do, I'm sorry, I forgot, is um, I'm going to take Maybelline's Eye Studio in Eggplant and just kind of, just like I did the eyeshadow base and with my ring finger and then kind of spread it all over just the eyelid. Just to kind of help the eyeshadow and give it a darker base, um, just a little bit. And then take a tissue and wipe that off your finger and clean up the um, edges because you really want to try to keep this on the eye as much as possible. And then go back in again with NYX's eyeshadow base and the areas that you just wiped. Put the eyeshadow base again so that way that still has the eyeshadow base on it and then you take the um, steel gray eyeshadow with a, just a flat short brush I'm using the essence of beauty um, dual ended brush it's the touch up and conceal one I don't know if you can read that but I just like this brush for this and tap off any excess and pack this all over the lid Try to stay out of the inner corner because you're going to put a much lighter shade there. So you don't want it to um, contradict or be harder to get the lighter shade to show up. Make sure you get that all the way down. And then you take the excess and kind of sweep it underneath the eye a little bit. Staying away from the tear duct inner corner area. And okay, and then I'm going to take this Revlon fluffy blending brush. That's what it looks like. It's a little smushed because it doesn't exactly fit in my bag where I keep my brushes. It's too big. I swirl it in this e.l.f. Um, Sorry, e.l.f. eyeshadow. Um, it came in a set. I got it from the Cosmetic Girl, so I don't, I don't know what shade it is. It's just a very sparkly blackish gray. Tap off the excess and put that in the crease. 
very carefully. You don't want to like make a big mess of this. It's a little hard to clean up. And once you've got enough in the crease for you to blend out, wipe the rest of the brush off using just a tissue. And try to get as much shadow off as possible. You can use brush cleaner or if you have another blending brush, use a different brush. But I only have the one, so. And then blend it in. Working your way kind of down rather than up. And then also kind of, sorry about that, also kind of sweep this under your eye and clean up the sides because if you see, you notice I don't really have any eyeshadow on the side. I want to keep this look as um, clean and simple as possible. I actually have this a little too high up. I usually do that on the other eye, I don't know why. And then you kind of woo, accidentally smeared some eyeshadow on that. That was a bad idea. Okay, then you take um, this flat shader brush. It's also an Essence Beauty brush. It says it's a concealer brush, but I don't use that. And get this kind of pinky um, neutral shade I don't know what to call it it doesn't it's in the 78 palette so it doesn't really have a name and tap off any excess and apply that to the brow bone all the way down you kind of want to try to detract a little bit from the darkness of the eye And then using the same brush, just flip it over and take the cream shade that was next to that and go underneath your eye over your dark circles if you have any. And then take Revlon's pencil brush and get this kind of sparkly white shade. and line your um, inner corner with that and then kind of pat it out with your finger a little bit and then you can take your blending brush and run it over to kind of give it a more gray tone so it matches a little better and doesn't stand out quite so much and then we're going to take our Maybelline Eye Studio eyeliner with the brush that it came with so it, it kind of looks like a lip brush to me but it came with the eyeliner and I like the way it works so I just stick with that one and line your upper and lower lash line with this so This is always a little hard for me to do. I know you're not supposed to stretch your eye out like that, but I'll start using an eye cream, I guess, to make up for it. And then just under the lower lashes. Okay, after you've done the plum eyeliner, you take the black shadow here and the black shadow here and mix them together using the other end of the Revlon um, eyeliner brush, which is the angled end. Tap off any excess you have and go over that plum eyeshadow. Okay, now I'm going to curl my lashes and put on two coats of my Revlon Grow Luscious by Fabulous Mascara, which is in black and brown, and then I'll be right back. And then I take Elf's 
super glossy lip shine in Pink Kiss, which was also from the Cosmetic Girl. And just put that a little bit in the center. And then I take my pinky and spread it out. On my cheeks, I've used um, Maybelline's Sweet Cinnamon Blush. And that's it. Um, my foundation and all my jewelry and all the products that are in this look will be in the bottom bar. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.